Well, welcome back. We've got an exciting night for you tonight. This is called the what power function, and this is an introduction to logarithms. So I'm going to have quite a few examples for you tonight. On a positive note, they're not very long examples. So it says evaluate each expression. The what power of 2 of 8 equals 3. And here's why it equals 3. It's 3 because 2 to the 3rd equals 8. So I want you to think about that. The what power, little base 2 of 8 equals 3, and the reason is 2 to the 3rd equals 8. And in fact, what I want you to do is just kind of take your pen and go around the world like this. Just make a little spiral. 2 to the 3rd equals 8. Let me give you another one. B. What power, I have this little base of 3 of 9, is 2. And I'm going to say, well, this equals 2 because 3 squared is 9. And watch how I go around. Start at that little base. 3 squared is 9. And make a little spiral. All right, so I'm not going to give you the answer this time. Let's see what you come up with. Um, I actually put a bunch of them here. And I want you to pause it and try it on your own. Um, so it'll take you a few moments to write them down. And then, like I said, try it on your own. If you get stuck, go back and look at this example. And don't be afraid to draw your own spiral in to help you figure it out. Good luck. All right, well, pat yourself on the back if you got this one right. I'm going to start at my little base, and I'm going to say the answer is 2 because, if I go around, 6 squared equals 36. Hopefully not too bad. I'm going to say this answer is 5 because, again, I'm going to draw my little swirl around, 2 to the 5th is 32. Let's see, I'm going to go with 3 because 10 cubed is 1,000. All right, now this one gets a little tricky. 9 to what is 3? 9 to the what power is 3? Well, I'm thinking I need to take the square root of it, which means the exponent is a 1 half. Okay, remember we talked about rational exponents? I want to take the square root, so I know that's a 1 half power. Let's see, 42 to the what is 1? Well, that's kind of a nice one. Anybody to what power is 1? I'm going to go with 0. 42 to the 0 is 1. Um, all right, what do you think about this one? 2 to the what power equals 1 eighth? Well, I know my exponent is definitely going to be negative because it's a fraction, and 2 cubed is 8, so I'm going to go with negative 3. And lastly, I'm going to start here and go around. I've got 1 half to some power has to equal 1 fourth. Well, I think all I did was square those numbers, so I'm going to go with a 2 here. So let's get this written down real nicely in quotes here. What power of b is x? And that's how we like to say this and get this written down as well. What power of b is x? So when you go to read this out loud, you're saying what power of 2 is 16? Okay, so this little b is what we want to read of b is x. What power of 2 is 16? And again, you can kind of make the little swirl for yourself and go around. 2 to the what power? Hopefully you're saying 4. What power of 2 is 4? I'm going to go with 2. What power of 2 is radical 2? Well, if that one's not so obvious to you, let's just write it down. What power would I use to get radical 2? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, radical 2 is really 2 to the 1 half power. Therefore, I know my x has to be 1 half. 2 to the what power is 1 eighth? Well, I know I just went from a whole number to a fraction, so I know it's a negative answer, and I'm going to go with negative 3 because 2 cubed is 8. All right, so we're going to keep going. What power of 0 is 7? So I'm saying what power of 0, go around, is 7? Well, what's 0 to the first? 
Well, that's zero. Zero to the second is zero. Zero to the third is zero. Zero to the negative first is zero. Is zero to any power seven? No. This can't be done. So let's make a note. Can't be done. What power of one is five? So one to what power is five? Well, again, what's one to any power? One to the first, one squared, one cubed, one to the fourth? That can't be done either. Negative two to the what power is eight? Well, you might be thinking, all right, at least I can do this one. And maybe you're thinking three because two cubed is eight. But what about negative two times negative two times negative two? I think that would get me a negative eight. So guess what? That one can't be done either. And negative two to what power is 16? Well, I know two to the fourth is 16. Negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two. That one can be done. So I'm gonna say that answer is four. So again, let's carefully get this out, written out. What we have been calling the what power function is known as a logarithm. Okay, so practice saying that word, log a rhythm. The number b is the base of the logarithm. So we were saying what power of b is x, so to speak. So this little number b is the base of the logarithm. And here's how we're going to write it out. We don't really write out logarithm every time, we abbreviate it with log. So we're going to say log base b of x means the power at which we raise b to get x. Log base b of x means the power which we raise b to get x. So whenever you see log base b of x, you need to be thinking, what power of b is x? So just keep saying that sentence to yourself. What power of b is x? So now we're going to evaluate these logs without a calculator. And it's simple. Every time you see log, remember, you're just saying what power. So I'm saying what power of 2 is 4. What power of 2 is 4? And I know that answer is 2. Log base 3 of 27. So I'm saying what power of 3, so what power of 3 is 27? And hopefully, again, we know that answer right away is 3. So I think if you write it in this notation, the logs are very simple. Log base 0 of 4, so what power of 0 is 4? 0 to the what power is 4? Well, wait a minute. That can't be done. So we're just going to cross that off and say it can't be done. Log base 1 of 4. So what power, 1 to what power is 4? Well, again, 1 squared, 1 cubed, 1 to the fourth, 1 to the fifth, 1 to the trillionth. That's all just 1. So that can't be done. 5 to what power is negative 25? Well, I'm thinking squared, but 5 squared is positive 25, so guess what? That can't be done. Now, sometimes they're going to give you a log without a base. So just, whoops, just to reiterate, this is my log base b of x. This little guy here is the base. If for some reason they use log, but they don't put a base in there, they want you to assume that that base is a base of 10. Okay, so let's make a nice big note in there, and this is called a common log. Common logs have bases of 10. Okay, so they don't have to put this base in there when they use LOG because they are assuming that it's just a 10. Okay, compute the log and state in exponential form. So we're going to do two things. Exponential form means, well, this is log form because you see a log. Exponential form is going to have an exponent. All right, so let's first compute the log. So I'm saying log means what power, what power of 13 is 1. And I know 
anybody to the 0 is 1, so that exponent must be 0. So I'm going to say log base 13 of 1 equals 0. Now it says state in exponential form. Well, that just means 13 to the 0 equals 1. So basically, exponential form has an exponent. Log form has a log. Again, practice reading these out loud to yourself. This says log base 13 of 13. So say it again, log base 13 of 13. And again, it means what power of 13 equals 13? Well, I know 13 to the first is 13, so this equation is equivalent to 1. There's my answer in log form. Now it says state in exponential. So 13 to the first equals 13. Next one, log base 9 of 27. So I'm going to say what power of 9, so what power of 9 equals 27. Now, 9 squared is 81, so I know this number is smaller than 2, but I don't actually know what it is. So I want to leave it as an x for the moment. We're just going to say equals x, because that's not one we can figure out as of today. So in exponential form, that's 9 to the x equals 27. Now you can actually solve this by getting a common base, and we talked about this last week. So let's slow down and solve it. So here it is in exponential form, and I can easily solve for x by saying 9 is really 3 squared, and I'm going to keep that x, and 27 is really 3 cubed. Then I can kill those bases and say 2x equals 3, so x equals 3 halves. Now I can go back and write it in exponential form. 9 to the 3 halves equals 27. All right, last one here. Log, notice I don't have a base, but in fact I do. Hopefully you caught it. This is a common log, so they're going to assume that you understand that that base is a 10. So remember, you're going to have to write your own base in sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to say what power of 10 is 1,000? I know 10 squared is 100, therefore 10 cubed is 1,000. And so I'll say this is equal to 3, and then I'll rewrite in exponential form. 10 cubed equals 1,000. State the exponential in logarithmic form. Okay, so now they're going to start us off in exponential, and again, I know it's exponential because it has an exponent. Logarithmic form means I need to put a log in it. All right, so remember log means what power of who? So I'm going to say what power of little base 6 is 36, and then equals 2, and see if it makes sense to you. What power of 6 is 36? And remember that swirl? 6 squared is 36, so I know I've written this correctly. Log base 6 of 36 equals 2. All right, we'll try another one. Log, okay, remember that means what power of who? What power of 10 is 100? So my 2 goes here. What power of 10 is 100? And again, check it. Go around and make the swirl. 10 squared is 100. All right, I think you've got it. Pause it, try the last one. Just stick this exponential in logarithmic form. All right, so I'm saying what power of 8, so my little base 8 goes there, is 1 over 64. I'm going to say equals negative 2. And again, do your little swirl, and it checks out. So one thing we hope that you really get out of this is the answer to a log is just an exponent. Take a look at this, log base 6 of 36, the answer is 2, which is really just the exponent. Again, here the answer is 2, which is really just the exponent. The answer to a log is really just an exponent. Okay, and that's probably worth writing down here. The answer to a log is really just an exponent. Okay, so that's all a logarithm is. It's just an exponent. All right, lastly, we're going to solve two simple log equations. And the easiest way to solve them, and again, we'll make a note here, is to put in exponential form.
Okay. So again, log means what power, what power of X is 64. So I'm saying X to the third is 64. Okay. And now I just need to solve for X. So if it's X cubed, I simply have to take the cubed root of both sides. And I know that X equals four. And it's a quick check, plug four in, does it work? Four cubed is 64. We'll try one more here. Log base X of 32 equals five. So say it out loud yourself, log base X of 32 equals five. So remember log means what power of my base, what power of X to the fifth equals 32. And once you convert to exponential, it's a piece of cake, we'll just take the fifth root, fifth root, and X equals two. And again, a quick check, 2 to the 5th is 32, so you know you did it right. And remember, all this log answer is, is the exponent. Well, that does it. That's an introduction to logs, and we're going to spend quite a few more days on logs. Um, they'll get a little more intense than that, um, but we'll just take it nice and slow in practice. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.